Hello and welcome to the workshop 5.3, which is looking at the pulley system. Uh, again, this is an FEA um, approach. So very similar to the previous ones, grab and, drag and drop a geometry file, right click new design model of geometry. And what we're going to be doing is uh, using the sketching and modeling operation, construction sketches. Um, and again, if you wish to use the parameterization, you can do. But again, here we're not um, focusing on the parameterization. So units, millimeters, and what we want to do here now is look on the XY plane, look at, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a new sketch, and we're going to introduce a circle. So circle P for point, drag it out, and that's going to have a dimension of 60 millimeters. So dimension general 60 mil. Okay, now once it's got that 60 mil, we can then extrude that circle um, and to a thickness of uh, 10 millimeter. So um, extrude, modeling, apply 10 millimeters. Okay, generate, click on the ISO and we can have a look at that. So the next important thing is what we want to do is we want to create a new sketch. So on the XY plane, so XY plane, look at new sketch and in that new sketch what we want to do is we're going to use a polygon uh, number of five from the center to the top so again sketching here polygon five there center is from the middle so make sure it's p and then to a point of c round about here okay so we've got this, um, I've got the constraints on there. What we want to do now is to give it a dimension. So dimension, and you can leave it on general, um, or you can use it on vertical. So what I want to do is from here to this point here, and that's going to have a value of 20. And it will fix all of those. Okay, so that's 20 millimeters. Um, and the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to draw a new sketch on the XY plane. So again, modeling, sketching, new sketch, sketching, draw a circle. Um, and the circle is going to be um, from this point here. Okay. And once we draw that circle, um, we should be able to just drop it there. And now, when we draw the next circle on the P, you'll find that as I go a bit larger, an R pops open. And that's not bad, that means that's what we need. So, and that way there, it's always fixed and constrained with the other R value. So, we can create those. Okay. Now, once it's constrained, we obviously need to give the uh, dimensions for those. Um, and once we've got that, it should theoretically give all the dimensions exactly the same. So it's going to be about 5 mil. And yep, as you can see, all the other circles have grown as well. So what we want to do now is we want to be able to um, use the extrude function to cut away from our material, so extrude, sketch three, apply, cut material, and it's gonna be obviously through all. Okay, and then if you press generate, you'll see the holes are being cut through. Um, and the next thing what we wanna do is to create a cutout on the top hand section. So if we look at the ZX plane, um, and then look at, we've got that view here. And what we want to do now is just simply just create a box section. So again, here, um, we can go straight into the sketching and then draw a rectangular box up here. It doesn't really matter, doesn't need to be neat or tidy. We can give it some dimensions. And this will have a value of six for H1. And this will have a value of four mil. And what we want to do is make sure that it has a horizontal constraint from there to there. And this has a value of 
um, two mil, and also from the bottom surface, so vertical from there to there, and this has a value of 28 millimeters. So once we've got that one, we can then use the revolve function. So again here, revolve that sketch um, for apply axis is this one here. Yeah, and it's going to be a cut material and generate. And you can see now it's cut that material away for the pulley section. So the next step on the um, workshop shows parameterization. Again, if you wish, you can go through this one and it shouldn't be too complicated. Um, but if you want to leave it out, you can do so also.